Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Anglo-American Platinum has officially launched the 5 megawatt Eternity Power Thermal Harvesting Plant at its Vasopral Smelting Complex in Rustenburg. Natasha Udendahl tells us more. Operating since June, Amplat's new 150 million rand cogeneration plant has been performing above expectations, having ramped up to a consistent generation capacity of 3.2 megawatts ahead of schedule. The plant and its success is expected to revolutionize the metallurgical sector as its economical use of the waste heat of the smelter's processes could be replicated across other large industrial complexes that emit large amounts of waste thermal energy. Amplat's executive head of process, July Ndlovo, tells us more. It is part of our bigger uh, energy uh, conservation strategies in reducing our energy footprint. So it takes us first and foremost down that journey. But clearly, this is a, a cheaper energy source compared to ESCOM. It might be small, but it's sufficient to run our converter plant. So in that instance, it actually improves our, our cost efficiency. But secondly, actually, it also makes sure we're not reliant on, on ESCOM. As long as we're able to operate, at least we've got our own source of energy. And the source of energy is entirely dependent on whether the converter is running. So quite a neat integration between the two. The project forms part of government's critical infrastructure program with a 30 million rand grant from the DTI, a key enabler in the decision to move forward with the construction of the power plant. Trade and Industry Minister Dr. Rob Davies spoke to Mining Weekly. I think the importance of this is that smelting operations will be part of beneficiation of mineral products. Uh, it's stage one of uh, mineral beneficiation. It will continue to be a, an essential component of beneficiation. Uh, and that um, this is a way in which beneficiation in stage one uh, basically can uh, be more efficient and this energy efficiency I think is the name of the game now because uh, uh, we don't have unlimited quantities of energy uh, and the second thing is that uh, it can be shown to be reducing the carbon footprint uh, by uh, using a, a, a clean and renewable source uh, of, uh, of energy. Other news making headlines this week Monsanto says genetically modified organisms will meet future food demands. And a new research and development approach is required to create a sustainable future. Although honorable, Monsanto South Africa MD Kuba Steenkamp does not see organic farming reaching a stage where it will provide 100% food security, highlighting the ability of genetically modified organisms to increase the yield of every hectare. South Africa um, up to today has shown um, excellent adoption of the technology. We have a lot of commercial farmers in South Africa and they understand, understand the importance of increased um, productivity. We focus more and more on our small scale farmers, those farmers with one hectare uh, land available. But then also in the rest of Africa, what is important, countries like Kenya, Malawi, Zambia, Tanzania, where we also produce a lot of maize, we need to make these technologies also available to these farmers to also help them to, to increase their yields per hectare. As the world tends to the task of resolving short-term sustainability challenges, companies, universities and research institutions should pursue research and development and stimulate open innovation to find potential solutions to the longer-term challenges. Even as we attend to the task of addressing the medium-term agenda, we need to be developing our capabilities as research institutions for longer-term strategic foresight. And so we have to be looking, understanding possible outcomes and combinations. Nothing will happen as we think, but we need to start exploring the possibilities, making the combinations, looking at factors such as the effects of climate change, technological change, new drivers in the economy, new ways of handling energy, water and other critical resources, social attitudes and behaviours, how they're evolving, politics, governance. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.